in 2021, both of my apps made me $29,486.21. I'm about to show you how I did that and how you can too. And also stick around until the end of the video. I'm about to show you an amazing marketing tip to validate your idea so that you're not just like, should I just create this game? Should I create this app? I don't know. I'm about to show you. It's just, it's real, It's actually pretty easy. So let, let's dive into the numbers real quick. It's probably going to take a few minutes. It's not going to be a super long video. Automate POD, my first Chrome extension. If you go to the Chrome extension store, search Automate POD, you'll find it there. It brought in $18,075.71. Second one, Bubble Scout, brought in $11,410.50, bringing that total to the 29486 Yeah, I, I think you get it. So... Um, that's great and everything, right? So first one, uh, my first Chrome extension I made was automate POD. If you want to figure out how it works, you can just go to the link. I'll probably just link it in the description below. Having Stripe brought in $10,200 roughly. And as you can see here with PayPal, if we didn't have PayPal, uh, we would not have made another $7,855 over the past year. If you're ever creating an app like me, don't only add Stripe, also add PayPal, because as you can see here, PayPal accounts for 40% of my sales. If I didn't add PayPal, I wouldn't have made this much money. So, add PayPal. Um, my second Chrome extension, Bubble Scout. It is a Redbubble niche research tool, both of which I had about actually both created these um, extensions myself. I try to use Shopify to handle like all the payments, creating the website, blah, 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 all that stuff. Um, which which was nice for most things, but uh, let's just say it's not the best for creating a software as a service app. So yeah, as you can see there, $11,000. Anyways, so that was how much I made, and now you're at the end of the video where I'm going to show you, if you don't have an idea, I can show you how to find one that you know has people that want to download it. So here I am on the Chrome store. If you're wanting to build a Chrome extension, I got, I got a playlist of videos up here that you could go and watch. And your idea doesn't have to be a Chrome extension. It could be a game, it could be an app. All you have to do is just, for example, if you have an Android phone, you wanna create an Android app or an Android game, you go to the marketplace on Android and just look at the numbers. Like go scroll through, go to a certain game that you like. What if, if there's a game you like, if there's an app you like, you can go to the page on the Play Store, scroll to the very bottom and it should tell you how many downloads it has. Because if, if it has a lot of downloads, just copy the idea and then change it a little bit, add a feature, add a whatever, and you'll have people wanting to download your game. You're not going to get sued if you copy somebody else's idea. So great one right here, Volume Master. So this like just came up. Um, this has over 2 million users. Okay, so this is verified. Like if you just copy this idea, if you really like this idea, you could copy it and you know people are out there searching for it. You know there's people out there downloading it and installing it and using it. Because look at this, 17,000 reviews, and it's mostly five stars. So if you literally just copy this idea, add all the features that are for free on this one, but then maybe you, maybe you want to change it a little bit and make it specific to your use case to add a couple of features, throw those features behind a paywall. Just be like, hey, here's all the free stuff right here. You can increase your volume to 600%, but if you want to, I don't know, uh, do like a volume mixer on different uh, tabs, then that's an additional $5 a month. And if you steal a portion of this market, 2 million users, 2 million users, right? So let's just say, let's, let's just be really conservative. If there's 2 million people, right, searching for this, or that the habit installed, and you steal a percentage, like 1%, that's 20,000 people. And then if 20,000 of those people want to pay, you know, $5 a month, you'll be making 100 grand a month times that by 12. You'll be making 1.2 mil a year just by simply copying this idea, adding an additional feature, but only allowing people to use that feature if they pay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm about to be taking an app idea and uh, trying to get my very first sale. So I'm about to show you guys the process of how I would go about validating my idea, creating it, and then putting it out on the market, and then marketing it to get my very first sale. So hope you guys would enjoy that content. 
Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.